Ah, oh, hello there, friends. Today we are going to be reviewing- Ah, we're not. We're well, actually, we're continuing with the Random Loadout series. Young Cake and our Discord have come up with an incredibly wild and, and amazing name for the series, which is definitely fitting. He said, you should call it w Woolen's Wacky Weapons. So that's what I'm going to call it, because it's a YouTube channel, and it has to have wacky in the word, otherwise people won't like the video. Anyway, um, the nice loadout that we are going to be playing with today is the Direct Hit, the Panic Attack, and the Katana, the Half Zatoichi, of course. I, I like these weapons, to be honest. I'm kind of crap with the Direct Hit. This is a relatively new strange, I guess, but my old one only had like 300 kills on it. I don't use the weapon that much. Panic Attack, we didn't really talk about it much in the last video, to be honest, so we're going to actually have an opportunity today. Obviously, pulls out really quickly, it has some good synergy here. You know, launch them into the air with a direct hit, whack them with a panic attack. Good stuff. And then the katana, you know, the katana's there. Fits with the fits with the old hat and everything, fits with the doggo. Famously, in you know, a samurai dog. Anyway, I don't know what I'm saying. We're going to go into a pub, see if we can have some fun. It's a good, it should be a fun, pretty good fun loadout, to be honest. I quite like these weapons together. See if there's a bit of hidden synergy hidden in there, but yeah. See you in the pub. Alright then, so we are right at the start of a game of Gorge. This is normal Gorge, by the way. Of course, the last update, they re-added a bunch of maps, including 5CP Gorge. One of my favourite maps, to be honest, so I'm glad they brought that back. But, uh, yeah. I'll skip straight to the end of setup time, and we can have a bit more of a chat. I really like this man's hat, by the way. Just want to point that out. It's a really nice-looking loadout, my dude. So it looks like we're going to be having a <laughs> fairly typical game of Gorge. We've got a team full of, like... Engineers and demos basically quite a typical loadout I expect unless their team has one medic They're probably not gonna be able to push but we'll have a little see in things how things progress But anyway, yeah, so the loadout we're using as I said earlier is quite interesting But I also just realized I don't think I've actually used the katana in the last like four years because the katana I thought You couldn't put it away once that you once you pulled it out like you had it out forever until you got a kill and then it gave you full health but this you can clearly put away for 50 health and i remembered that that was a mechanic just now because i'm an idiot and apparently i don't read item descriptions anymore but yeah it tells you about how far behind the times i am but yeah katana apparently wait i want to come over by this boy over here i like this whole situation here to be honest but yeah the katana now it gives you 50 percent of base heal it used to overheal you didn't it Maybe I'm wrong. I don't remember anything. I'm like an idiot, apparently, but yeah. So it means, I guess, that you can use it to build Uber really quickly with your medic, kind of like the Boston Basher. But then again, you can also use it as a final weapon. You know, you're running around on 60 HP, and you think there's an AFK sniper you can get a kill with. Ooh, not bad. Quite the old shotgun here. So yeah, good little piece of synergy just straight off. The direct hit obviously has no splash, so when it comes to stuff like that, if someone's on, like, almost no HP... The easiest way to kill them is with the shotgun spread. So having a shotgun with a direct hit is quite handy. Obviously, I like to run the like gunboats all of the time because I live in 2018. But I mean, if there's any rocket launcher you have to pretty much run the uh, shotgun with, probably shove it down to the direct hit just so you can get little kills like that. Like someone running around, I'm, I'm better with a direct hit than I thought. <laughs> I thought I was. Cr I mean, it's not meant to be hard to aim. It is almost hit scan with the speed that it fires, but. I'm having a bit much better time with this than I was expecting. Normally I'm kind of crap with it, because I'm used to the stock um, the stock speed. But yeah, not too shabby here as well. Never mind, I hit him. Normally, as I want to say, is I have issues hitting someone in close range. So I'll pull out the shotgun and go, ah! No! Ah, oh, but yeah, there you go. Wonderful little situation that just happened. There. Is that kill streak? No, it's kill streak. I don't have a kill streak panic attack, do I? No. But yeah, so you saw there right at the end I was about to die. The speed of the panic attack allowed me to pull it out. I don't know if he was going to melee me again or what was going on there, but I was able to pull it out very, very quickly and dispatch him quite quickly. The panic attack is really strong. I said it last time. I'll just briefly say it again. It's really good. <laughs> Please use it. Like, it's... I don't know if people have decided yet if it's better than the shotgun or not, but if you're only pulling it out and shooting like two or three shots, it's almost certainly better. If you're at mid-range and you're using it like, you know, a kind of scattergun, chip damage, you expect to use all six shots, maybe the shotgun's better. But it's insanely good. There you go. Medic finishing him off. Very, very good. I'm enjoying this so far. I've got to say. Don't play too much soldier outside of just rocket jumping. But I genuinely feel like the direct hit is so much- it's, it's so stupid sometimes. Like, the fact that you can mini-crit someone in the air with a weapon that's easier to aim does seem a bit silly, to be honest. I always felt like maybe it didn't really need the kind of mini-crit situation. They already incentivize you to air shot by making air shots easier. I never felt like it really needed the extra incentivization. So, you see there, the man's using the splash damage to hit us behind a wall. We can't do that. Instead, we have to use our Bren and stay against the wall that he can't shoot. 
Obviously. But we can't do that with a direct hit, because it's got short splash. That's how the weapon works. I don't need to repeat that 58 times, but I do need to come in here and immediately die, yeah. So what we might have been able to do there- does this thing do Madden crits? It doesn't do random crits. So yeah, an issue with the old katana was obviously that <laughs> it did random crits. And for some reason it had this- they had the range of the bottle. If you're playing Demo Knight, obviously, the swords tend to have longer range, and they fixed that since. The, but the katana just used to be a bottle that random crit and would fully heal you to max. So that was kind of nuts. The fact that it doesn't have crits means that- what I was gonna say is I've maybe- I'd done enough damage at that point that I probably had a pretty high crit bucket. You know, the little bucket that fills up as you do damage, and then when you roll for crits, the higher the bucket, the more your chance of crits. I was kind of hoping maybe I could get a crit and get more health off of it, but that didn't happen. We weren't in melee range, instead we're gonna have to do a little flanking as the soldier class. Imagine that. Coming into a short room, fighting a boy, running away, going to the health pack. This man is a little angry. I don't- he's shooting at us and not the sentries. I'd rather you didn't- maybe it's because I'm wearing a funny hat. Jesus, man. What's wrong? I, I, what I was hoping he was gonna do is shoot like something else and not me. Don't stare at me. <laughs> Creepy man. <laughs> I was hoping he was going to do is shoot something else so I could get the health pack, but I was avoiding running at the health pack. Because then I'd die to the splash. But what we need to do is check quickly. Hey, Demo Knight, don't mind me, just a friend. There we go. I wanted to check to see if there was an engineer. This map, they always have like 800 engineers putting sentry gun where we just were. So I'm always quite careful. That's my tip of the day. That's the woolly tip of the day. If you would like one. Is on this map, there's sentries bloody everywhere. Just expect it. If you're going to turn a corner, there is a level 3 there. Even if there isn't one, there is one. Trust me. Always got to be slow and careful. Oh. We are being attacked. I'm going to use my shotgun so I don't have to aim and murder them. Look at that, look at that panic attack action. The, oh, by the way, the high spread that it does. If you haven't seen it, there you go. It's like a weird little rectangle situation. It means that it kind of lets you hit if you've missed, if you know what I mean. If you're, in, if you're seeing a big group of enemies and you're not sure you'll be able to individually aim on the center of all their bodies, just kind of, if you're like not very good with your shotgun, it's not a bad idea just to kind of spam with it. Because the high spread means you're likely to at least hit like 20 damage. And if you've done two rockets with the stock, they'll probably be around that level. It's quite handy, just as a little little chip finisher. If you're not too sure about your shotgun aim and you haven't played MGE for eight hours a day for the last six years to try and level up your shotgun skills, but I do want to continue flanking. Because while we do have a very, very good situation for one enemy, I think when it comes against a crowd, we're a bit fucked. The direct hit, as I've said, for some reason I'm doing better with it today than usual, but I'm normally kind of crap with it. It's really good at picking off those individual targets, as it is just a sing- It's basically a sniper rifle, isn't it? Or a melee weapon, or whatever the meme is. You really want to be avoiding fighting more than two people at once, I think. With it. You see that? I backed out from the Demo Knight. Maybe I could have fought him. Probably one, but then I'd be on like 20 health. Anyone else appearing could have killed me. Instead, I backed off. I knew I had a dispenser nearby. Putting out the shotgun. Very good. I knew I had a dispenser nearby. I don't have to wait for respawn. We're on defense. They've capped second. It's going to take forever to respawn. So it's safe to be clear, you know? We had 50 health down. That's enough for him to charge at us and kill us. But also, something else we did there was... Uh, Demo Knights, remember, if they're running at you, super zoom. If you hit them with, like, enough damage, they stop zooming. So I held out my shotgun there just in case I needed to do a little bit of damage to stop his charge in my face. I don't know if it would have really worked, because he probably could have still hit us with his humongous sword. That was a stupid idea. But yeah, I just wanted to do that just in case, because if he was running at me, I'd much rather meat shot him for like 80, or 108, I think this thing does, than maybe miss him with a direct hit. There's a heavy up there in a sentry though, so it means we're going to be able to use our powers for good. Because of course, the direct hit is like the anti-sentry gun that we've all ever wanted. For the class, obviously, that's uh, countering for sentries, you know. Shoot, 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 shoot those rockets, that's what they always say, but... Pull out the shotgun again, I'm not... Yeah, there we go. He ran at us angrily, so I headshot him with a shotgun. Very worrisome. Yeah, maybe I should be using my close range direct hit more, but I just thought about it. I probably would be murdering myself a bunch with it, wouldn't I? Hit myself with my own splash, probably not the best idea. Also, I forget. A lot of maps these days tend to, like, not clip these, these banisters. So I'm not used to having to bump my head on things. And normally, maps tend to be a lot more free movement, I'd say, I guess. This one seems to be a little bit more clunky, where like you rocket jump and then you smash your face on a roof and instantly die. But what I want to do anyway, is there is a heavy up there, he will be on around full health by now I guess. I want to murder him with an air shot, or a crit, or a shotgun, or something, so I can actually get around to that sentry. He's what's stopping us right now, we could- there's no other flank. If this was 5 gorge we could have gone around there, I think. But we can't do that unfortunately. So we're gonna actually have to face him head on. They have an uber? Maybe they'll go around us. 
Nope. Yeah, no, they're definitely going to Uber on that guy. So I'm going to, instead of going to the dispenser I keep going to, I'm going to try and go back to spawn or see if there's another dispenser over here. That was catastrophic. <laughs> I nearly, um, nearly murdered myself with my own katana. Maybe I should be using the katana more. I'm kind of not really. I'm using the shotgun as my close range thing because it's a bloody shotgun. But maybe we should go and try and maybe kill some AFK snipers. Show it off a little bit. Where's the sentry gun? Can we see it from here? I think it's around there. There's a heavy. I don't really want to fight him in close range, but of course, if you didn't know, if you bop a heavy on the shoes, he'll go mega zoom up high, and it means you can get that mini crit air shot on him. And if you can do that, then you'll basically two-shot the heavy with your rocket launcher, which is insane. You are an angry boy. You see him, like, wiggling his screen around. I'm not very happy with that. He's using the command symbol from a MacBook as his name, so it's worrying me. I'm definitely finding the lack of splash starting to become an issue. What's that scout doing? I thought he was going to run out of the way. You see me doing like a little prediction- There's a spy, by the way. I saw me doing like a little prediction rocket to the left. I was assuming he was going to run off to the side, but he did not. Is there a heavy in the- There's our heavy. I just realised this, but it's- Bullet tracers are all the exact same colours for every team member. It'd be kind of- What do you think the game would be like? If, um, different hit scan weapons had slightly different colours? Like if red team shot yellow bullets and blue team shot slightly blue tinted bullets? Do you think that would help the game at all? I think it would just get too complicated at that point. Because I just realised I'd never had this issue in my life. But there was a heavy around the corner. And I didn't know if it was my heavy or one from the other team. Because it was just shooting yellow. Not really that big of a deal, I guess. Because I did realise eventually it was a friendly heavy. But maybe that would help a little bit with visibility. But also, you saw what I did there. Was I like strafed around the corner. If you're wondering how I moved in such a way. Air strafing in TF2, my dudes. Holding down your strafe keys. You know, A and D. Instead of W and S. Forward and back. Meaning that you can kind of like curve around corners like that. And I used that to surf my way onto the dispenser. There's a bit of a bad situation here. Probably gonna die, so I'm gonna knock him off the edge, hopefully. So I have a less chance of having to actually fight him. He's gonna close with splash, isn't he? Yeah. So that, yeah, this is definitely somewhere the downside of the director is showing itself. It's kind of good at like... <laughs> murdering small things, but now we're coming against a choke point. I really wish I could just have the stock. And just shoot around the corner and murder them safely. Because you do kind of have to be in the line of fire to use the director. You have to see the guy you're shooting. And that, that's troublesome right now, to be honest. Maybe maybe I'm being too passive, though. Maybe I can instead just hope there's no sentry and zoom behind- Oh! I should have been doing this all along anyway. This is something I normally like to do in other classes, is try and get as far behind as I can. People have definitely noticed that in the past and commented. They were like, Wollen, when you play Medic, why were you running around behind them? And the answer is, I want to get their dispenser. Normally. Anyway, there's always a teleporter up here. This is gorge. This is how it works. So we're gonna murder a spy and just sit here and camp it. No one's ever gonna check to the right to see if there's a soldier, are they? They're gonna slide to the left and wait for the boy. This is quite fun to do, by the way. I was really expecting there to be a level 3 to stop us from flanking, because that's what they normally do, as I've said. Is there an invisible spy? No, it's a pyro. There's no- by the way, there's no health kit in there. So unless they change class, which most of them won't do, they'll stay on really low health. You better backstab me! <laughs> I used my earphones so I couldn't- so I could hear his, uh, declock- oh shit! Cock. <laughs> I missed all of my shotgun bullets because I got terrified. We need to do that again. So the reason, by the way, I didn't kill the teleporter was because I was using his bait. I was hoping I wouldn't be bad there and I wouldn't die to a pyro. But the idea is basically to- oh. That's an interesting little room. It's to just say, hey look, most of the pubbers probably aren't going to pay attention to what's going on here. So I'm just going to hope that they blindly walk into the teleporter, because I do that. I was just about to do it now, <laughs> I just did it. Is where you don't really check around the spawn, you just kind of go on the teleporter and assume it's safe, because it always has been. I'm going to do the exact same thing again, by the way. I don't know if there's anything in here we particularly want to kill. New flamethrower, man. It can't hit me up, though. Normally Pyro's good, they could like shoot you around the corner, but he's not going to be able to. Oh, low health. He's eating a sandwich. He's not allowed to be on high health. I didn't understand that. My brain. I tried to use my game sense, but I've been out game sensed. Or maybe he already healed. The team's actually started to push, by the way. Which is a little worrisome. I mean, it's the pub push. There's a minute left on the clock. They've started to realise, hey, look, we can shoot the- <laughs> We can shoot the sentries, not just the other things. Oh god, he's pulling out the diamond bag. Murder him. He's not allowed to play. There's a sniper over there. So yeah, it's the pub push. There's a minute left. They realise that they can destroy sentries instead of just players. So what we're going to do is we're going to abuse the fact that they're all a little bit mind-focused up there. And try and A, pull this heavy away. If we can hold it here until like 30 seconds, I think. Instead of focusing anyone else, if he focuses us, that would be a wonderful thing. Because it means that he's not going to push on last. And I think that heavy is going to win it for them, if anyone. He seems like a pretty good player. I guess I'm up here now. Thanks, Surf Keys. I've also got no direct hit rockets, but I'm about to engage in a lot of combat. So I'm going to keep my shotgun out. 
Hope that he doesn't jump too much. There's a heavy. Run away. I didn't see the beginning of the of the shotgun particles or the bullet particles. You know, because bullets don't just come out straight. There's a little bit of a puff at the front if a heavy is shooting them. I didn't see that, so I knew he was a bit further away. Using the shotgun there. Make sure I didn't blow myself up. I'm on 55 HP. It's the time for the katana. We'll wait in this room. If anyone comes in here, they will be murdered. Like that speed band man, perhaps, but maybe not. Been a pretty good game, to be honest. Yeah, that was some good stuff. I enjoyed that. So, like, did not use the katana once. It's kind of just this case of melee weapons in TF2, to be honest. Unless you're using something for a specific um, circumstance, like, you know, the Uber saw, spies knives, the wrench. You don't really tend to use them. I guess the escape plan as well, or the whip. Unless you need them. You don't really tend to use them. You always- most people tend to go for melee weapons that have, like, an active use. Like the escape plan and the disciplinary action. Where, like, you use them for their utility, not because it's a melee weapon. You don't use it to murder people. And the whole point of the bloody Harvester Toichi right now, without a medic to build, is just to deal damage. So that's why we're not really using it. But now we're going on offense. Maybe we'll use it more. I think, the, to be honest, we tend to have too much ammo. What I've been doing lately in this match is just shooting all four of my rockets if I can. If I'm in close range, I'm using the shotgun to make sure I don't blow myself up. If I ever lose all my- I haven't- have yet had, have, What am I trying to say is I have yet to lose all of my shotgun bullets. If I shoot- Oh, your guy looks so happy. If I- <laughs> If I haven't shot all six of my bullets yet. If that happens, maybe I'll pull out the katana, but I just like having the shotgun too much. I also really like his loadout. He looks so happy. <laughs> I don't know how you manage that. He's got like his little eyes. He's got the, the little little lines at the bottom to say he's happy. Here with the ball nut. I like this. Oh, man. Anyway, let's try the flank. This is what you normally do. You, pe you peek out the left. Check to see if there's any sniper dots. Nope, no sniper dots. There wouldn't be any sniper dots there anyway. Check to see if there's any sentry guns or spies, like walk in the corner. I didn't see any sentry guns or spies. There's a rocket launcher boy on the top left who we're going to try and murder. No, never mind. Bad time. We're going to use our melee weapon on the sniper instead. Run around the back. We're not really at the back and we're going to die to splash, I think. Or this heavy. I'd like the health pack. And then we'll run away. No, there's a heavy. My friend escaped. He didn't do any damage to him. I thought my friend Demo Man was going to save me that you know, do, do a little bit of damage. We don't need to switch teams. What I thought happened there was like, you know, my Demo Knight had done a bit of damage to him, so he was on like 200 health and a couple of meat shots would kill him. That didn't happen at all. He didn't do any damage to him. And I died, sad and alone, as usual. But look, not to worry. Don't think about the future. Instead, we're going to walk around the side like we've been doing the whole game. Any medics with a crossbow? I don't see anyone. Just kind of clear up the stickies of my shotgun, of course. Second utility of the shotgun. I hear beep, beep, beep. That means it's a level three. I've said it before, but remember, engineers' buildings beep for the number of levels it is. If it's a teleporter or, or if it's a sentry, it'll go beep, 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 or beep, beep, or beep. And that's how you know what the level of the sentry gun is. There you go. Actual genuine tip of the day. Really, really useful in this game. It's using your audio. Oh, there's a little friend in there. I guess we're, we're friends? Okay. Do you want to... Oh. Well, you know, sad and alone will continue. But yeah, you can see me here. Still going to walk up the left. Like, I don't like being in the main line of fire. I don't think it's a good idea. A lot of that little bit of pre-fire. I think it's a bad idea most of the time unless you're playing with friends in pubs. If you're just playing alone and you want to help win and carry the team, going on the flank and killing all the sentries and, like, eight people is way more important than just standing looking scary at the front most of the time. In my eyes. You know, if you like to play the game differently, obviously, do as you like. I hear one beep. Beep. That's one, level one sentry gun, somewhere. Let's not fire anything, so we- Oh, well, let's fire something now, he's taunting. I wasn't gonna fire anything, so we didn't know we were here. Murdered him. He had less health than I thought. I wouldn't want to fire anything, just so I didn't give away my position, so I could try and flank and get the sentry, but I always feel like, if you're gonna carry in a pub, or if you're gonna want to try to carry in a pub, you wanna be sneaky and stealthy on the flank and try and get all the picks to help your team push. You wanna be- you want to be sneaky? You don't want your team necessarily to know they're being carried unless they check, like, the scoreboard or whatever, and that's how you... If that's how you, uh, standardise carrying is score. But, like, you want to be the guy in the backfield secretly doing all the work, so when your team comes to push, there's nothing for them to die to. I don't see a sentry gun. I, I might have bumped a spy there. I'm going to wait for him to put down a sentry gun. Do I hear it? I'm using my ears. I don't hear anything. This guy's also a bit laggy. I think when it comes against laggy players, you also want to use your shotgun. Just because it's hit scan and you hit them immediately when you see them on your screen. And there's a bit of lag. I don't know. I always feel like it's a little bit funky. Especially when there's no splash and you have to hit them. It's not like you can just say, Hey, I'll hit him anyway. Holy shit. Angry boy with his... He just taunted! He's a very rude boy. 
typically, you know, you don't have the backup of, oh, there'll be splash. So I think it's nicer just to guarantee you'll do some damage, at least. Good teleporter, by the way. Do this. Do put the teleporter there. It's a good spot. And you see, again, going up top. If I went to the main line of fire, everyone's dying to, like, one heavy. I don't want that. Check the corner. Check out the window. What do I see? I see no sentry guns in clear sight. There's a sniper on the right. There's a pyro coming up. So I'm going to pre-fire him a little bit. He reflected. Terrifying. I was not expecting a pyro with a gibbous to know what a right click was. Maybe he didn't mean to. Maybe he was just trying to airblast the heavy, but I'll, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Hence why I was pre-firing. Normally you don't really pre-fire pyros, because if they're good, they'll murder you and your friend. What are you doing, Spy? Using my shotgun just to make sure he isn't walking through, because of that spread. If, if he was walking through, the spread would have picked up his invisibility watch. Also going to stand and wait a bit longer than usual, because once spies stare you in the eye, they almost always tend to come back for you. And he just looked me right in the eye. Like, he was, he was looking, he was in the mood. He was like, hey, Woolen, how's it going, my friend? You want to, you want to interact from behind? No. I do not want to interact from behind. So, oh, Jesus Christ. Did you not hear me? There you go. Panic attack indeed. I just had a heart attack from a bank burner pyro. Good use of it there, by the way. Panicking as well. Like, if you're not sure you can actually take the time to fire, use it. Spam the crash out of it. You'll hit someone eventually. As we did with the pyro there, we got two meat shots and didn't. Well, we did die still. Maybe what we should be doing is, unless we're fighting like a pyro or something, maybe we should, like, try and hit them with a direct hit down to, like, 20 health. And then always heal off of the katana, because it's a guaranteed heal as long as you get a kill with it. Because you'll always heal for a hundred as soldier, won't you? Unless something else, I guess you're using like the battalions or something that gives you different max HP, you'll heal you for like 60 maybe. But if you always get one kill, you'll always net 50 HP. He's on, he's on like eight health, isn't he? Should not have put away my shotgun there. I don't know, what I was thinking there was maybe I'll run at him with my katana, but it's a pub pyro. He was never going to let go of his left click. Instead, we'll hide in here. Now it's the time for the katana. Maybe he'll have forgotten we exist. There's no way he's forgotten we've existed. <laughs> we, we got him anyway, somehow. We were hiding in the corner and he came in to like sneakily get us. The spy picked up the frag. There you go. I mean, I think I was dead there anyway. If I'd have stayed around the health pack, I expect he would have probably just noticed me and shot sooner. I think the fact that he was slow meant that he was a bit worried, maybe. I don't know how that pyro got up there. Like, maybe a reflect jump, but... I didn't know he was going to be capable of such feats. Someone Schnell go getting him. Is that that's our, that's our Uber? Quite hard to tell who Ubered sometimes, especially in choke points like that. Go for a little window flank. He's done it. The hardest jump of all time. Maybe not. Maybe maybe quite a normal jump. But it meant that we could at least skip having to do multiple rocket jumps to get to where we wanted to be. He tried to like backstab me from the front. That's not how that works. I'm going to hide around the corner because our team's capping, and all we have to do is stand on the point with a shotgun and win, as we did. Very, very good stuff. Pulled out the shotgun at the end there just to make sure that they would stay off the point. Good stuff. I enjoyed this. I enjoyed this loadout. This was a, this was a good time. But uh, that will end it for today, obviously. Uh, obviously. Obviously. Of coursely. <laughs> English language is my only language, yet somehow I'm still bad at it. Oh, Necro. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Do let me know. And I will see you all next time. I hope you have a good evening. Goodbye.